Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem because the Roman emperor wanted to take a census. Basically, the emperor wanted to know how many people he was ruler over. To do this, families traveled back to the place where the father was from. For Joseph, that was Bethlehem. While Mary and Joseph were there, Jesus is born. God's promise was coming true. In Luke 2, 8 through 20, we learn about some shepherds that tell everyone that Jesus, Emmanuel, is born. It says that there were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the things that have happened, which the Lord has told us about. The story of Christmas would not be complete without the shepherds. God used them to spread the news that Jesus, God's promised son, was born. This brought hope to so many people and still does to this day. Without the shepherds, people would not have known that the prophecy from Isaiah had come true. All these things put together in the nativity make the story of Christmas. The promise, Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds. But it doesn't stop there. Jesus grows up and does amazing things. He teaches people, heals people, performs miracles, and most importantly, he does what no one else could have ever done. Gives us forgiveness, relationship, and eternity with God. We hope this has been a helpful reminder of the story and reason for Christmas. This story is truly a reminder to us all of the love God has for each one of us and his call to follow him. If you would like to watch all four of these videos in one, you can find it on our website. If you have any questions about what it means or how to get started following Jesus, send us an email to kids at faithchapel.cc. You can also follow us on Instagram for updates, reminders, and encouragements. Have a Merry Christmas.